can, you can never win, no matter who is backing you to fight it. The battle you can never win, no matter who is backing you to fight it. And this is coming from a servant of God on a different continent, sorry. Yeah. I want you, you're not going to laugh anymore. Let me read it for you. If I can hear. He said, dear servants of God all over the world, please hear me very well. The battle against your spiritual father is a battle you can never win. No matter who is backing you. Don't even attempt it. You can never win it. You may be anointed to kill Goliath, but will forever not be anointed or permitted to kill Saul. Ask David whenever you see him. You cannot erase the man who raised you. You cannot dishonor the man who made people to honor you. You cannot bring embarrassment to the man who gave you endorsement. Never become a problem to the man who gave you a platform to rise. Why become a warfare to the man who took, you, took care of your welfare? Somebody praise God. Never become a problem to the man who gave you a platform to rise. Why become a warfare to the man who took care of your welfare? Determine not to become a disappointment to the man who gave you appointment. How can a man put so much investment in your life? And your thank you to him is to put so much bereavement into his own life. In most cases, fathers may be one who wronged you. But still remember, the God who anointed David to kill Goliath will not allow him to kill Saul. The drunkenness of Noah is not a license to expose his nakedness. That will be wickedness and foolishness in the sight of God. The drunkenness of Noah is not a license to expose his nakedness. That will be wickedness and foolishness in the sight of God. One of the sons of Noah exposed his father's nakedness, forgetting it was his father's righteousness that once saved him from the flood. Remember, Noah found grace with God, yet he found disgrace with his son. Some sons think they are more righteous than God, who choose a man despite his weakness. If you know the weakness of your father, it is because he gave you the access you don't deserve. Imagine for a moment, if Noah had locked himself up alone in his bedroom to drink his stuff, he would wake up and package himself all by himself, without anyone seeing him or coming under a curse. The mistake of Moses in marrying an Ethiopian woman has not taken away from him the mantle to make Miriam leprous. Members must be aware of assistant pastor Aaron. They will lead you in a fight against your God-given Moses. But when it's time for leprosy to be given, the oil on their head may save them. But the gullible Miriam will suffer alone following what is wrong. It was Aaron that led the attack against Moses, yet it was Miriam alone that suffered leprosy. God respects priesthood any day, any time. I'm not here to defend the errors of spiritual fathers. Allow their Heavenly Father to deal with them in his own way and time if they don't repent. Because I have seen sons fight their spiritual fathers on behalf of the Heavenly Father only to be punished by the same Heavenly Father. You know why? Every fight against 
spiritual authority. Come on, somebody bless the Lord. Reminds God of Satan's rebellion against him. Never forget this statement to the, for the rest of your life. The man who came to tell King David that Saul had died would have been expecting David to rejoice that finally my enemy is dead. Instead, King David killed him and said, Your blood be upon your own head, for your mouth has testified against you that you killed the Lord's anointed. Let us pray for spiritual fathers. Dear Lord, we ask you to keep our fathers all over the world from falling and failing. Help them to live a life of scriptural examples at all times. For those going through pain of betrayal, heal them and bring them out stronger. Some are bleeding and leading at the same time. Let your grace be sufficient for them. This I ask in Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Someone to bless the Lord. Someone to bless the Lord. Secret.